Okay, um, speaking of, you know, certain YouTubers opening themselves up to be sued or, um, you know, making things up to defame people, I wanted to get your take on this, and, and I don't know for sure if anything's going on, but I did notice that, you know, 50 Cent, who's notorious for posting and making fun of Diddy throughout this whole situation, his Instagram seems to be pretty much wiped out of all Diddy posts. The only one that I could find that was still up was of Diddy riding the bicycle um, before, you know, before all this went down. And, and the caption literally just had the LOL. He, did, he wasn't saying anything um, derogatory. But I wanted to get your thoughts on that because, you know, he was so well known and he was so relentless for going in on Diddy. And now all of a sudden all his stuff is deleted. Yeah. You could take it two ways with 50. 50 could, and this is what I believe. Y'all know I look, I had never met 50 Cent before in my life. I, you know, I never met him. When he was in his heyday, I was kind of just over there at E1, working behind the scenes doing consulting. Wasn't really hanging with shit during those times. And so, I'm saying all this to say, but 50 to me, come off as a dude that really not big on wanting to be considered a snitch. And so he don't want none of his posters or anything, I believe, to, to get Diddy in trouble. Y'all gotta remember, 50, Baby Mama, and Kim Porter, I don't know if y'all know this or not, and Kim Porter, they used to live, they lived on the same property in Toluca Lake. And so they kids got history together. They, 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 the kids and stuff got history together. And so I, I really believe that's why he's a big supporter of, of Kim Porter. He was taking Kim's side and riding so hard on Diddy, which a lot of people he never really exposed and, and, and hadn't put that out there. But I really think that 50 laid off of, because he don't want to be involved in it or he don't want to be Consider the person that got Diddy uh, put in prison, and and so I think he's really playing big on that street code snitch snitch stuff, or don't want to be considered a snitch uh, thing, because as y'all see, a lot of people that's the new thing now. Cuse and Reggie Wright are being a snitch. Cuse and Big Meech are being a snitch. Accusing everybody to snitch, you know? But then the snitches are all popular. <laughs> everybody that's been accused of being a snitch are all popular except me. You know, on YouTube. You know, you can go back to Little Woody and all of them. This motherfucker on dating shows now and stuff. But uh, I'm thinking and I'm hoping that that's where it came from. That's where it's going. Could he have been contacted by the government? That's usually where it goes. I'm not saying that. I'm not hoping that. But that got to be also thrown out as well. I'm not saying that he was at any of those parties or anything. But I'm just saying the government might have been like, hey, what you know? What, what's going on? And guys like that generally don't want to be involved or being advised that, hey, they about to come your way. They want to talk to you. And so that could be why he pulled all of that stuff down on IG. There's a rumor out there. Some YouTubers I have heard, not with, you know, no major platforms or stuff like that, is reporting that 50 has been contacted, not 50, that Diddy Law Team have sent cease and desist out to a lot of people to quiet them and silence them, such as 50. Well, you know, if he sent it to 50, he would have sent it to Gene Deal. And Gene Deal hasn't been silent yet, so I don't believe that. So that would be my only take. But I did find it interesting that 50 Cent has erased most of his, his uh, things about, off of fifth, about uh, Diddy off of his uh, IG page. But has he did it about Rick Ross? 
And if he did it about Rick Ross, then maybe he's just trying to clean up his image. But if he hasn't did it on Rick Ross or, or anyone else that he usually troll, or Floyd Mayweather or anybody, which I tell you, I, I hope he don't pull that one off because that was my favorite one. <laughs> When he tell my boy Floyd, shout out fucking Floyd Mayweather. I hear all of that stuff you're doing in New York, man. I'm glad to see a black man take his money and invest it and buy that uh, half a billion worth of property in New York City. Man, keep that stuff going generation for, for your kids and your family. Make sure you have a good trust and you can add Reggie Wright to your trust as well. <laughs> but anyway, uh, but other than that, man, that would be my only take. Uh, John is, I think, 50 is taking the route of, hey, I ain't going to be the nigga to get that nigga put in prison because I ain't a snitch like that. It's, it's the route I think 50 is going. <laughs>